Good evening. You're watching the news from the Santanato Foman Television. First, the headlines. The Minister of Interior announces that 27th of October is the end of registration period in the Electoral Register for Municipal Council's membership election. In the governorate of Alburemi, the consumer protection seizes huge amount of fake motor oils and filters. And a study on the development of Wadi Ade area in the Wilaya of Matrah and framework study for Al Jifnain area in a Sib area are discussed by Urban Planning Committee at the Minister of Housing. Live from the news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television, here we present to you the details of this news bulletin. The Minister of Interior announced for citizens uh, the end of registration period in the electoral registrar for municipal council membership election by the end of official working timing on Thursday, 27th of October. Earlier, the ministry announced uh, the start of registration in the electoral registrar urging citizens who have not yet been registered in the electoral registrar to fill in registration forms at the Wiley's office in which they want to elect. A huge amount of fake motor oils and filters were seized by Consumer Protection Directorate in the Governorate of Alberemi. They were sold for consumers as genuine products. The seizure came after the Public Authority for Consumer Protection received a complaint from a citizen expressing his uh, doubts about the type of motor oil and filters he bought from one of the specialized shops. After many inspections campaigns and uh, taking uh, samples of oils and filters, the Consumer Protection Directorate in Alburemi seized more than 1,250 fake filters. They also discovered uh, that these shops uh, mixed genuine oils with fake ones. A study on the development of Wadi Ade area in the Wilaya of Matrah and a detailed and a framework study for Al Jifnain area in the Wilaya of Asib were the center of discussion at the meeting of Joint Technical Committee concerned with phase mechanism for urban planning at the Ministry of Housing. The meeting also reviewed a study on comprehensive plan for land uses, a study on development of Al Khor Al Bata, Al -Bata area in the Wilaya of Sur, in the Governorate of South Al Shirkia, and two studies on the Governorates of North and South Al Batina. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Engineer Saif bin Amr Al Shakhsi, Under Secretary of the Minister of Housing. The trading value of real estate activity in the Sultanate reached more than 225 million Omani rials during September 2016, while the collected fees stood at around 3.5 million rials. The number of real estate transactions across the Sultanate during the same period stood at 24,282, including sale, donation, inheritance, exchange mortgage, and division transactions. Meanwhile, around 15,739 title deeds were issued by the Ministry of Housing. The number of land uh, plots uh, registered for the first time during September 2016 stood at 3,034. A forum was organized under the theme, Stories of Success. It highlighted achievements of some Omani women in different sectors from various governorates of the Sultanate. The gathering coincided with the celebration of Omani Women's Day, which falls on the 17th of October every year. The event was presided over by His Excellency Khalid bin Omar al Marhoun, Minister of Civil Service. A ceremony was organized by the Omani Women Association in the Governorate of Muscat to celebrate the Omani Women's Day. It witnessed a wide participation from women in the society. The celebration included motivational speeches, poetic sessions, as well as visual presentations about successful women in different jobs. The event also witnessed artistic performances by children. The event also came to motivate women to exert further efforts for a bright and prosperous future, as well as serving the country. The the ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Madiha bint Barhar Excellency Dr. Madiha bint Ahmed Ashibania, Minister of Education.
You're watching the South Nato for Man television and still to come in our news bulletin. The 59th World Scout Jamboree on air and the 20th World Scout Jamboree on the internet is held in the Governorate of North Sharqiya. Welcome back uh, from the news uh, here in the Sultan of Oman television. Activities of the 5th Traffic Safety Expo 2016 began at Oman International Exhibition Center. The three-day event is organized by Oman Expo on behalf of the Royal Oman Police ROP. The exhibition features 59 private companies and 27 sponsors from the oil and gas automotive banking traffic equipment training and construction sectors, 26 ministries and government bodies, five departments of the Royal Oman Police, six wheelies and 10 non-governmental organizations taking up a space of 16,000 square meters. Traffic Safety Expo 2016 provides an entertainment and learning aspects by way of an education zone in interactive games and photo sessions provided by leading companies and will also have a fun area for children, a quiz area for adults, uh, traffic safety games, in addition to giving away car seats by Oman Road Safety Association. The opening ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Engineer Mohsin bin Mohammed Sheikh, Chairman of Muscat Municipality. Oman oil price December delivery reached 49 US dollars and 75 cents. The Dubai Mercantile, Mercantile Exchange said uh, that the price of Oman oil rose 8 cents from the price of yesterday, which was 49 dollars and 67 cents. The average price of Oman oil November 2016 delivery has stabilized at 43 US dollars and 92 cents, thus 10 cents per barrel lower than October 2016 delivery. The work teams at the directorates and departments of the Ministry of Sports Affairs in the Governorate along with youth clubs committees continue to follow up the launching of youth creation competition in its first stage. The fourth stage of the competition includes various prizes for the participants with the aim to reach a large segment of the society through cultural, sports and other competitions. Building trust between procedures or producers and consumers with regard to quality of commodities was stressed by the Commerce and Industry Director in the Governorate of South Albatina as it marked the World Standards Day. The Directorate also focused on the importance of standardization for both procedure or producers and consumers and the technical conditions stipulated by Oman standards and technical regulations in this regard. The Minister of Commerce and Industry seeks in cooperations with the GCC Standardization Authority to prepare and develop unified standards that comply with international practices in a way that serves the production sector and facilitate trade exchange. With the aim of spreading communication and connection culture and qualifying scouts and guides leaders in technical communication tools, the Scout Commissionerate in the Governorate of North Sharqiya participated in the 59th World Scout Jamboree on air and the 20th World Scout Jamboree on the internet. The Cubs communicated uh, with their peers around the world uh, through four chat rooms, namely in Scout Shouts Room, Competition Room, and Assistance and Technical Support Room. This camp enables Scouts and Guides to exchange world experiences in Scouts and Guides fields and qualify the cadres of leaders to master radio and internet communication tools. The participants uh, seize the opportunity to exchange cultures between them. The camp also reflects communicating and connecting values in every society as three languages such as Arabic, English and French were used as means of communications.
The College of Technology in Ibri held a ceremony for the graduation of the sixth batch of its students with bachelor advanced diploma and diploma degrees. The number of graduates stands at 391 male and female students in various specializations including engineering, information technology, administration, business studies and others. The graduation ceremony included a number of activities and distribution of certificates to the graduate and excel students. The graduates expressed their happiness for graduation after the hard work and efforts they exerted during years of studies. And now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over the most of the governorates with chances of cloud accumulation and scattered rains over the Hajar Mountains. Winds will be northeasterly light to moderate over the coasts of Sea of Oman, while along the coast of the Arabian Sea, it will be southwesterly light to moderate. Seas will be slight to moderate along the coast of Arabian Sea with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. Rest of the coast, it will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1 meter. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Minister of Interior announces that 27th of October is the end of registration period in the Electoral Registrar for Municipal Council membership election. The consumer protection seizes huge amount of fake motor oils and uh, filters in the governorate of Alburemi. study on the development of Wadi Adey area in the Wilay of Matra and framework study for Al Jifnain area in Asib are discussed by Urban Planning Committee and the Ministry of Housing. With that, we come to an end of tonight's news uh, bulletin brought to you live from the news center of the South and Atofuman television. From the entire news team and myself here, we thank you for joining us. Wish you a pleasant evening and good night.